6th graders, I'm super excited to get started on this density column lab with you today. So what you are going to do is you're going to use items from around your workspace to make your own density column. So after you have watched this video here, you're going to make your own density column using things from around your workspace. So you're going to put a minimum of five different liquids or objects into some water or different liquids. Okay, you're going to use this cylinder here to label what yours looks like, although you might not actually be doing it in a graduated cylinder or a cylinder at all. You can use anything from around your workspace. You could use a bucket, a bowl, um, a cup, anything that you have that will allow you to put some liquids in it and some objects in it that can go in liquids. Okay, you're, but you are going to use this cylinder to label the things that you put in. So you're going to put the most dense on the bottom and the least dense on top. So when you start adding things to your, say you use a cup, it, when you start adding things to your cup and I put a, a rock in my cup and the rock goes all the way to the bottom, I'm just going to put rock here. And then if I put water in and the water and the water stays right here and everything else is less dense than water and floats, for example, a piece of um, foam, then I'm going to start adding those on top. That is all that you need to do. If you want to add pictures, you can add pictures. If you want to move things around, you can totally do that as well. So what you are going to label your density column here, so what you do, and then you're going to take a picture of it using your Chromebooks. You need to open up that app, get, up, get your camera, take a picture, then you're going to upload your picture into this orange box here. So you can upload pictures by clicking insert, um, and then you're going to do image, and then you're going to search from your computer. Okay, so you are going to upload a picture into this box here for us to look at. If you have any questions about this, if you want, if you need to um, get any more information, feel free to send a message in Schoology or come back to the Google Meet to ask a question. All right, happy learning. Bye.